Hello Super User! Today we're going to learn how to create large time signatures in the score while not affecting the parts. Now this is incredibly important because when you have a conductor conducting a large score like an orchestra score, uh, the time signatures are going to appear about that large and those are just incredibly hard to see when there's a bunch of time changes. So instead we're going to actually make the time signatures larger. Now first we're going to start off by getting rid of all the excess time signatures here because we only want it to appear on a few certain staves. Uh, so we're going to go up here to Plugins, Scoring and Arranging, and then Global Staff Attributes. Now here, we're only going to want to get rid of the uh, time signatures that we don't need. Now the finished time signature is going to end up being over three staffs. So for instance here, we're going to have it over Trumpet 1, or sorry, Trumpet 2, Horn, and Trombone. And it's going to be attached to the top staff. So we only want to leave Trumpet 2 uh, having a time signature. So we're going to go Select all the instruments other than the second trumpet and you can do that by hitting command and then clicking and then deselect time signatures in score hit apply and now we can see all those are gone next we're going to go to document options which is command control a alternatively you can go to document document options and then we're going to go to fonts and we're going to change the font under notation click till you get to time in the score set font and we're going to go to engraver font or engraver time because that will allow us to get the look of the large stretch time signatures. Font size 40. Hit, up, hit OK and you can see if you hit apply you get the large time signatures but they're not vertically aligned so we're going to go down here to time signatures top symbol negative 15 EVPUs make sure you have EVPU selected bottom symbol negative 295 and if you hit apply you can see that it's all lined up correctly. And so that's how you create large time signatures in the score. And as we can see in the parts, we still have the normal time signatures.